uh, set up for yourself. You know, a lot of people are under NDA. We've heard a lot of different things. Some things usually get brought to me, uh, which I weigh in on and, and uh, opinionate on, depending on what it is and who, it, who it's from, and I get a lot of that stuff. Uh, I, of course, do have my own sources, and uh, this is where 99% of the intel that I bring you comes from. It doesn't come from anybody else. So what I've got tonight is very interesting, and I'm a little bit on the fence myself because here's what we know. And I love to play that game of what we know and what we think we know, right? So here's one thing that we know. We do have communication with uh, Redemption Center staff from time to time. And we know that they were on a conference call yesterday. It was a bank conference call, which included banks and redemption centers, uh, that was started at 1130 in the morning, Eastern time, <clears throat> and was set to go till 2 o'clock, which would have been two and a half hours. But we understand that the call actually went four hours and 19 minutes. So you do the math and see when that call actually ended. It ended way beyond 2 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. Now, the previous day, Sunday, there was a call within the similar time frame, 11.30 in the morning to a little after 2 in the afternoon that was set up for bond holders, bond traders, bond principals in bond trading platforms, etc. But yesterday's call was about banks and was for bankers and, and leaders in the Redemption Center and so on. Now, what we don't know is exactly what was said, but we do believe that the schedules have been set already for us to go and when to start. Uh, so let's, uh, let's talk about that. Obviously, we have Thanksgiving coming in two days. We know that uh, the intention was, as far as we knew, for us to start and get in the redemption centers and the Tier 1 banks before Thanksgiving. At least get started before Thanksgiving. Now we come to find out that that does not appear to be likely. It seems that working with the bond holders and bond traders um, has taken priority, and it's sort of the order of things was to get these uh, dragon bonds paid out and other bonds, railroad bonds, and so on, paid out prior yeah. to the currency people like us going in. That's okay. That's fine. So that's what's been happening is the bond traders have been getting their deals complete. The bond platforms have been set up, and all of that is about ready to pay out. In fact, it might be that even overnight tonight, which is what I'm hearing, I've heard tonight, but I believe it's more like overnight tonight. Uh, bond, bond um, paymasters will intake funds for four hours as input or intake, and I'm not sure if there's a gap of time, but then four hours will be dedicated to outgo or output of the funds to recipients. This may be more than just bondholders. This could be SKR holders. This could be people that have already ponied up funds. Sometime overnight, funds will be paid to paymasters for four hours and then four hours and then a four-hour period of output will take 
place to go from paymasters to individual uh, recipients. Let's use the term recipients. All right? So that's an interesting eight-hour segment. Now, is there a gap of time between the two, first four and the second four hours, happening overnight? Possibly so. Possibly so. Maybe it won't be too long, though. It could be quick. So that we don't know. But we know that that activity is planned for overnight tonight. Now, we are looking for funds to be transferred, at which time uh, we're looking for the USD to convert to a gold-backed or asset-backed currency we know as USN. That is a transition that takes place and should very well take place in this overnight time frame. Um, beyond that, we know that the Redemption Center staff is off on Thanksgiving Day. We know that they are, have continually been on an hour call that got shortened to a 40-minute call or response time to be received a call or an email or a text and then be at the Redemption Center seated at their desk ready to go within 40 minutes. Now, my understanding is that all staff is off for Thanksgiving. Tier 1 banks are closed, Tier 2 banks closed for Thanksgiving Day. There has been some chatter, and there continues to be, a belief that we could get notified Wednesday night, tomorrow evening. Let's call it evening. Let's not call it night. Tomorrow evening. And some people are giving a 50-50 a chance of that happening. I personally don't see that happening because I have other information that is pointing to us starting right after Thanksgiving, which is coming from very strong sources and pointing to Friday. And then another source echoed that and said, 800 numbers, notifications for us in Tier 4B, the Internet group, on Friday. So, could we receive notifications tomorrow evening and set appointments, which would be for Friday? Possibly. I give it a little lower than a 50-50 chance, but that's, a, that's possible. But Friday looks more likely to get the 800 numbers, notifications from the emails, to set the appointments, and to go in for redemptions and currency exchanges. There have been a few things on Friday. There have been a few things that have slowed down the bond, let's say, uh, let's say the bond redemptions, if you will. Uh, I know that we have a number of arrests that are taking place around the bond holders due to checks on Providence and so on. Uh, I believe they were thinking they had 14 arrests and three to go. So that was earlier today. So that may be continuing. But what they're trying to do is be very careful to make sure that anybody that is claiming to be a bond holder is legitimate and the rightful owner of those bonds. So that has been going on. And realistically, we are just about to the end of the ride. As you guys know, we do calls Tuesday and Thursday nights. Thursday night, we've made the decision not to do a call. Number one, we believe we could get notified Friday morning. Number two, we believe that everybody is entitled to spend quality time over Thanksgiving with their families and that we uh, don't necessarily need to do a call 
Thursday night. So we've chosen not to do one this Thursday night. Because of that, this could very well be our last call. And I want everybody to understand that. Um, and I know a lot of us have come together for years since I've been doing the big call with, and then recently in the last five, five and a half years with Bob and Sue. So, you know, we, we, we appreciate all of you that are listening and that have been with us so faithfully for this period of time. Some of you go all the way back to, to uh, the beginnings of the, the big call, and some of you go back as far as the Midnight Think Tank when, when I was on that call for about a year before starting the big call. So it's been a really fun ride. Now, some of you heard that Sue has some time availability, possibly, before we get started. And because of that, she can take some people who might want to get a world-class presentation session with her or some people that might be interested in the leadership training and the design of a dream team or leadership team and so on. And that would be more in terms of the planning for things that would take place after we get out of the redemption centers. So if you are one interested in either of those two aspects, this is probably your last shot at getting in touch with Sue to help you. You need a PayPal account, no exceptions. You need $165 that you can use for one person. And then if you have more than one, let's say you do a small group or two or three or four, it's $45 additional for every additional person you add to the original person. So you would have one person at least with a cell phone that can communicate with Sue and receive the texts and so on when she does text you. But you need to be watching your emails very closely and send an email to integratedminds at hushmail.com. Last time, integrated, I-N-T-E, G-R-A-T-E-D, minds, M-I-N-D-S, at hushmail.com. Send Sue an email tonight so that she can put you in the schedule that she has and create that. Put the city and state where you're calling from so she can get some idea of your time zone to set that up. 